In this demonstration of this front office for net backup, I'm going to be taking you through how to perform a restoration of a machine that you've previously backed up. So what I'm going to do then, I'm, I'm logged in as uh, the client Abacus. Uh, I can see their uh, portal options here uh, and I can see through all the different backup options that I've got this restore option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that uh, and that will take me through to a form that I need to complete. Uh, this form can be uh, changed uh, through the uh, front office uh, form designer. Uh, if you want to add different fields or give it different colors or different look and feel, all of that can be managed through the uh, form designer. You can see in here, we've got a, a header, we've got the body of the form and then some information down the bottom, all to help the user make sure that they complete the information uh, correctly. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go and complete some of these forms. You'll notice that the uh, red star denotes a mandatory field uh, and the question mark, if I hover over that, you can see there's some information to help us come and uh, fill that form in. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go down and select my uh, location. So if I select UK there, that completes that first item. You can see the second uh, field has already been defaulted. It's a backup date, and what we're going to do is we're going to search uh, plus or minus seven days around that backup date and actually pull in all of the, uh, the backups that are there. Okay, so what I need to do now is to go and select the actual VM that we want to restore. So we're going to take the location of the backup date information. We're going to pass that out via the uh, Balmy adapter internet backup. We're also going to pick up information about what infrastructure and what machines are uh, owned by uh, Abacus. And we're going to put all of that into uh, this box here uh, and present it as a list of all the different machines uh, that we can uh, restore from. So you can see here under the uh, Abacus, uh, we've got a, a list of machines. We're connected to uh, their vCloud. So we're showing this up as a VDC, a vApp uh, with VMs in it. And if I come down to my uh, Apache machine, uh, you can see in here that I have a list of all of the uh, backups that we have. You'll see that the uh, icons there are different against uh, each of the dates and times of the backups. And if I wanted to see uh, what those icons represent, if I go up to the question mark there, it's showing me that some of the backups were created using the scheduled policy. Uh, and some of them have been uh, created on the uh, backup now request. So all I need to do now is go and select uh, the particular backup that we want to restore. Uh, when I click on OK, we're going to now pull all of that information into the uh, form and we're going to populate the form with that. Uh, and obviously we can now use that to automate uh, the request into that backup. Now you'll see I've got a, a warning on the screen uh, and this is warning me that uh, before we go and uh, uh, submit this backup, there is actually a machine uh, of the same name in this place. So what I can do is in order to uh, either go and overwrite it, I could tick this box and then we could proceed with the request. Or if I wanted to go and put it into uh, another location, what I can do is click on other. Uh, and I then get the opportunity then to go out again using the bond the adapter to browse the uh, Abacus infrastructure uh, and look for somewhere to, uh, to place that machine. Now what I'm going to do is deliberately choose again the same place. Uh, I'm going to click OK so that we, we go and uh, try and put this back into uh, the, the place where, where it already is. And you'll see that I still get a, a warning message just saying that that machine is, is still in that location. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is click on overwrite. So we'll just overwrite uh, that machine in this case. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to uh, submit that request uh, by clicking on the submit request at the top there. Uh, and when I do that, we then get taken into uh, our fulfillment process. Now, in terms of uh, fulfillment, what we're going to do is uh, carry out a number of tasks uh, that will uh, enable that uh, machine to uh, to be restored. Now, if we'd have uh, had any uh, replication attributes within the request, uh, then uh, this process here would have picked that up and we'd have sent it down this path here, which deals with uh, restores that are to do with uh, replicated 
um, uh, uh, backups. Uh, but there wasn't any uh, uh, replication attributes associated with this request. So what we should find is that the, the uh, process will feed down here and down to the start restore. If I go and click on the refresh button at the top there, you'll see uh, that all this is happening in real time. You'll see that we did the check on whether there was any replication options. We had a decision point here and it decided it was going to go off uh, and start to do the restore. If we go further down this branch then uh, you can see that what we'll do is we'll kick off that restore. Uh, we've got a uh, polling process that's actually going to uh, check it. Uh, once it decides that that has actually been completed uh, then it'll, it'll send out an email down here either a success uh, Full, uh, email or an email to say that it's actually been failed. We'll do a quick cleanup process uh, and then what will happen is we'll, we'll complete that request. So you'll see at the top here uh, the request status has actually switched uh, to uh, restoring uh, and once this uh, request uh, to restore is completed uh, that, that will go to completed. And indeed we can see uh, other uh, requests that have uh, previously been uh, completed we can always come in and view any of the requests that we raised. We can see this is the request that we are uh, currently uh, processing. So this is restoring. But here's one that completed earlier. And if I go into here uh, and again look within the uh, Fulfillment tab, uh, we can go down again. This all went down the, uh, the restore path on the left. Uh, it, it carried out a successful restore. We sent out an email, did a clean up and then we completed the request. Okay, so if this has been a, a demonstration of the uh, machine restore. If you want to see any of the other uh, services that uh, we can do from uh, Front Office for Net Backup, uh, then please have a look at our YouTube channel. There's uh, other uh, services on there. If you've got any other questions, uh, please go to our website at www.biomni.com. Thank you.